introduce you to one of my pieces called Hell. I was having a little issue with my mother at the time that I was painting this, and instead of basically mouthing off like all us naughty daughters sometimes want to do, I decided to go ahead and allow my feelings and my sentiments be expressed via my art. And here we go. You see all the little monsters and the creatures, and they're really quite, quite nasty. There was no planning in this piece of work. Basically, I just allowed my unconscious to flow freely. Take a look at the creatures, and, and this is really something you would find in a nightmare. Also, the little Sesame Street creature. Again, nothing was planned in this painting. It just sort of, I allowed it to happen. This basically represented me, uh, re represented to me, like tenement buildings and all the people looking in almost like they would a car accident, like with great curiosity and everything. Once I'd finished this piece, what I found absolutely shocking, and this was not planned at all, and it's one of those things that happens with watercolor when the pigments sort of, sort of um, pull together at the time that the, the paints dry on the canvas, was Jesus Christ on the top right hand side. And you're going to see how his back is turned away from the scene of hell. Yes, you are right. You're going to see little lines and everything like that because once I had seen that image, it resonated so much to me that I went ahead and actually outlined it even more because I, I found that that played a huge representation in this piece. And not being particularly a religious person, this I found to be quite amazing. So I wanted to share that with you. Right?